Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Excel to write formulas and calculate large sets of data. This is going to be based on a gravitation lab in which we use the average radius of a planet and the orbital period to determine the mass of the star that, that it's orbiting. For just a very brief amount of background, the equation that we're thinking about that we're using to figure this out is 4 pi squared r cubed is equal to gm t squared, where t is the period, r is the radius. So if we graph 4 pi squared r against t squared, then the gradient is going to be gm. So our end goal is going to be to get 4 pi squared r cubed and t squared values for all of our all of our different planets so that we can graph them. So let's take a look at what we have. This is only four planets. I've already filled in the values, but it looks like there's already some formatting issues, um, which might pop up with it uh, with in Excel anyway. So let's format. I'm going to select all the cells that I'm going to use, and maybe even a few more. I'm going to go down or right click and go down to Format Cells. These are going to be numbers, so we could format it as a number, but we actually want it in scientific notation. Um, so we will put it in scientific notation. We'll do three decimal places, which means really four sig figs. Hit OK, and our answers will now all be converted into scientific notation. So now we have all of our radius values and all of our orbital period values. However, our radius is in kilometers, our orbital period in day is in days, so we need to convert to meters. So to write a formula in Excel, what we do is we click the cell where we want the formula. In this case, I'm solving for the radius, uh, average radius, and I want it in meters. In meters, to start a formula, you have to start by pressing an equal sign. Notice the formula bar fills in with an equal sign. This means it's going to start calculating. And to calculate the number of meters, I just need the number of kilometers times a thousand. So I just need to click the cell that has the number of kilometers. And notice it gives me this colored B4, which represents cell B4. And then I need to multiply by 1,000. So star for multiplication, 1,000. I can't click anything else. Um, in order to finish out the formula, I need to press Enter. Enter. And it automatically calculates my radius in meters, B4 times 1,000. The nice thing about Excel is we don't have to rewrite that formula for Venus, Earth, or Mars. If we want to propagate that formula down, we just click the cell with the formula, click the bottom right of that corner, and drag down to the rest of the cells that we want it to calculate for. Since we're dragging down, it's going to increment all of our cell values down by 1. So in this cell, we can see the formula is now B5 times 1,000. And we've calculated the radius of Venus's orbit um, in meters, and so on for all the rest. So, um, so let's do the same thing for the period. The orbital period is given in days. We need to convert to seconds. So how many seconds are there in a day? Well, it's going to be the number of days. I know there are 24 hours in a day, so times 24 times 60 minutes in an hour, times 60 seconds in a minute. So value times 24 times 60 times 60, press Enter, 7.6 times 10 to the 6. Drag and drop the bottom right corner down. And it calculates it for each of my individual values. Um, we can also do the same thing. Uh, in the end, we said we wanted 4 pi squared r cubed and t squared. So let's do that as well. So for 4 pi squared r cubed, I'm going to do 4 times, well, what's my value of pi? I could type in a value of pi, but it has pi as a function. If you type in pi, um, open parentheses, close parentheses, that spits out the value of pi. So 4 pi, caret 2 to square it, times my r value in meters raised to the third power. 3.843 times 10 to the 33 meters cubed. And then I drag and drop down, and we have all of our planets. 4 pi squared, our cube values. t squared is very easy. Equal sign. Click my period value. 
raise it to the second power, drag and drop down. 